Read in your words to Shelby, you said this, I am forever grateful that God allowed you to ensure I had all three of my cane sauces the first day we spoke. <laughs> Today we have gathered together in the name of Jesus Christ to celebrate a biblical union of Shelby and Reed. Shelby are the definition of a noble and honorable woman in my eyes. And now that our lives have come together, I could not imagine life without you. Shelby, you have love that is so ferocious and contagious that all who come in contact with you are immediately blessed. And that's because you exert the love of God with ease. Shelby, I vow to be the man God has instructed me to be. I vow to be the best husband. I am capable of being and to improve as our love grows stronger each day. I vow to be the father to our children that they need and deserve. I vow to always help you with whatever you need with around the house even if that means laundry. <clears throat> Reed, I first want to promise you that I will always love you and will continue to love you more and more as each day passes. I promise to hold on to you and love you in good times and bad. I vow to you that I will soak in every moment of being your wife and not miss one opportunity of the life we get to share together. I promise to cherish you and never take for granted the love we share and the life we are making each and every day. I promise to support you in your decisions and I promise to always keep you accountable in those decisions. I promise to be faithful to you and show you dedication with my actions and also my words. I vow to always fill our home with laughter, hugs, and smiles. My love to you and to God is to love you as I know and to learn to love you in our marriage as Christ loves us. Shelby, I love you more today than yesterday, but never more than tomorrow. Because you stood here in front of all these witnesses, declaring your love for each other, because God looked at this day and smiled. It is my honor to say, Reed, you make this your bride. <laughs> Thank you.